Hey guys, so I've got some items to show you here. Um, these are brand new, they've only been out for about uh, a couple of weeks maybe, maybe not even that. Uh, they're from Australia and they've actually been in the making for a couple of years now. Um, every year or so they appear at random toy fairs but they never get released. Anyway, they were finally released about um, a week or two ago I think. And what they are is they're Sonic the Hedgehog classic squeezy toys. Now, I bought these from someone on the Sonic Stadium forums and um, they also included some freebies and I like getting freebies and I like sending out freebies as well so it's always cool to get stuff when you give stuff. Uh, first thing I got was a Sonic the Hedgehog ruler. It's got Sonic there, which is pretty cool. I really like that. And I also got this, which I've never seen before. It's a Uncle Toby's Knuckles card. Now, looking at this, it looks like some kind of collector's card. On the back, there's a list of instructions about a game you can play. So I guess you collect them all, and you can play some kind of game. Um, if anybody knows anything about these, let me know in the comments. So yeah, the mysterious Sonic Squeezy toys. These things have been in production for years. They keep appearing, they've had so many different box redesigns, but they're finally out. And I'm going to show you some of them, but I'm not going to open this one. Now the reason why I don't have a giant Sonic one is simply because the store that this person bought them from was completely sold out. So yeah, let's have a good look at this one, the Sonic in the keyring. Well, the Sonic keyring. Um, I'm guessing it's a squeezy, I don't want to mess it up too... Oh, yeah, it does squeeze. Ever so slightly. Yeah, they're made by, um, I think it's Gaia or Gaia Entertainment. Yes, I said the word gay. Oh, hilarity! Anyway, um, yeah, so Gaia or Gaia Entertainment. What do we think? Well, it's, um, I well, know, it's not bad, I guess. I mean, it's not the, it's not the best classic Sonic design I've ever seen. I mean, I know what you're thinking. This is all very well, but why is his nose white? Hmm. How curious. Sonic the Hedgehog has a white nose. Well, there we are. So that's that one. Let's have a look at Robotnik now. That's quite cool. Let's take it out of the box. And have a look at it in a lot more detail. Oh, this is squeezy. I can feel it already. So here we have a classic Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Eggman. How do you want to call him? Oh, he's even got his cape. And... Oh, they don't make a sound. I was kind of hoping they'd make that <laughs> wheezy noise. But no, it's just like a little stress ball. The Dr. Robotnik stress ball. Wow, I've been squeezing this a lot. That's quite cool, though. I really like that one. That's pretty cool. Does it stand up? Yes, it stands up on its own. Fantastic. Okay, let's see the Knuckles one now. Ah, Knuckles feels a lot lighter than this one does. That one's got a lot more padding in him. Um, yes, it's a squeezy. No, it doesn't make a noise. And again, I know what you're thinking. Why is his nose white? Hmm. Quite curious. Yeah. Knuckles the squeezy toy. Does he stand up? Will he stand up on his own? No. No, he will not stand up on his own. I try it really hard. Will he? No, he does not stand up. Knuckles, you are you have disappointed. You're a disappointment to your species. And so are you. Oh. Well, they sometimes stand up on their own, but I imagine if a truck went past or if a bus goes by, they're going to fall over. So... You might need to find some kind of stand for them. So let's have a look at Classic Tales. Classic Tales again, he's about the same weight as Knuckles is. And again, why are none of the noses painted? Painted? Did they run out of... Okay, look at this. Since when do they have white noses? Very, very peculiar. And this isn't that bad. Um, the Tails figure's not, not too shabby. He's got like a, 
I'm not too sure. It's a really strange look on his face. His head wobbles. His head feels very, very loose. Yeah, you'll have to be careful with that one. But again, it doesn't make a noise and it is squeezy. Will he stand up? Yes, he will. And Knuckles, however, won't stand up on his own. He's too top heavy. Sonic, I've no idea because the store ran out, so I couldn't get any large ones. Um, I'm going to show you the packaging for one of them. The packaging is completely universal, as far as I can tell. There isn't. It doesn't say anything like Sonic, Tails, Robotnik, whatever. It's, it's just literally a universal packaging of the Green Hill Zone. At least I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, the usual warnings, again there's nothing, there's no story on there, nothing interesting. Um, yeah, Ooh, there goes Eggman. Yeah, that's it, um, that's the company that makes them, if you can see that. Well, not too sure what else to say on them. Um, they're nice, I wouldn't rush out in a hurry to buy them. The, the noses, I don't know what's going on there. Knuckles just completely dies whenever you try and stand him up. Eggman's probably going to fall over if somebody so much as talks to him. And Sonic in the keyring. Hmm. Difficult to tell. Oh, oh yeah, the other characters also come in the key keyring form, so... I don't know. Don't really know what to think about these, whether they're worth it or not. Um, they are pretty pricey. They're a lot more expensive than the first four figures minifigures are which shocked me a lot but I guess if you really like collecting stuff then they're definitely worth the pick up so yeah there we are squeezy toys well then again maybe if you have a dog you can always give it to them as a present that'll be good dog chew toys anyway there we are so thank you for watching guys uh, hope you liked it comment rate subscribe you know how it works goodbye